When you factor in that wind out of the northeast at 16 miles per hour, we're talking a wind chill of 15 degrees out right now. Yeah, similar story in Greenwood, though not quite as cold. It's going to be cold the it's next couple days. The furnace is going to be working over. Moisture from the Gulf, and two, you need cold temperatures out of the north. And when those two things combine, they're going to meet up right in the Starkville area, and that's going to give the entire Highway 82 corridor a pretty good chance of seeing some snow. Still staying just around that 50 degree mark. It's the last time you're going to see that for a few days, however. Purple and pink delineation. Anywhere above here is mostly snow. Below that, it's kind of a wintry mix, if you will. There's going to be some freezing rain, some sleet, and some snow as well. It's Stacy Earthley and Kevin Roth. A bathroom often works well, or a hallway. Get in there and bunker down. Turn the volume all the way up on your TV. That way you can still hear me. But it's time right now to get in your safe place. If you're in Sturgis, you can see we've got a couplet right now. And it is tight and it is bright. We've got colors moving away from the radar in red and towards the radar in green right on top of one another. And that suggests we've got rotation. Now, whether or not a tornado is on the ground, we can't say yet. A rotation in the atmosphere. Yeah, zoom in on it just a bit. So right to the north of Starkville is where it's at now. If we could zoom back out, go ahead and look at the direction this is headed. Now, it's important to note that just because Starkville missed out on maybe the strongest area doesn't mean you're out of the woods yet. Still a possibility of some straight-line wind damage. That being said, though, the biggest threat right now is headed to 